our last term we have wavelength denoted by lambda wavelength those are two ones wavelength so when we talk of wavelength it is simply refers to the distance distance covered in one complete oscillation so in this one we are going to consider a different wave but we can start by defining we are saying that this is the distance We are going to give several definitions. It is the distance covered in one complete oscillation. Or we can say that it is the distance covered between two points which are in phase. It is also the distance covered or distance between We can also say that it is the distance between two successful crests or two successful troughs or even two successful rear factions or two successful compressions. So we can define it further. All those are definitions for wavelength. You can give any of them. So we are also saying that it is the distance So we'll see that in uh, an example of a wave, the sketch for a wave. So we are saying that wavelength is the distance covered in one complete oscillation. We can also say that it is the distance between two points in phase. It is the distance covered between two successful troughs. So if you have two troughs following each other, the distance between them or even crest, distance covered between two successful compressions or rear factions that is for a case of a longitudinal wave then being a distance therefore we can say that the si unit is meter the si unit is meter so i want us to consider this wave so here we are having a transverse wave it can be seen you now that the vibration of particles is parallel sorry it's at right angle to the direction of wave travel so this is a transverse wave so here we have displacement and here we have distance we can say in meters so we have this is our starting point this is displacement in meters here we have 0 0.3 negative and here we have 0 0.3 So here is 0 0.3. So we have our wave. I'm going to draw the transverse wave and be able to define wavelength. We can now have our wave up to there. So these are our turning points for the wave. So that's our wave. So we can start with the first definition. So if we have this as our 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So we are saying that it is the distance covered in one complete oscillation. So you just come from whichever point you see where we have a complete oscillation. For example, from here 
up to here. That's a complete oscillation and therefore our wavelength is 8 minus 0, which is 8 meters. It's in meters. So the wavelength is 8 meters. Or we can say that it is the distance covered between two successive troughs or crests. So for example, if we consider troughs, sorry, we can start with crest, this crest, and this other one here. So we just come and read here. Here we have 2. Here we have 10. So 10 minus 2 is 8 meters. Again, two successful crests. So this is a crest. We don't have another crest, but we can complete this one and see so that we can explain. So here we have 14. These are troughs. These are two successful troughs, this one and this one. So here we have 14 minus 6, which is again 8 meters. Again, we are saying that it is the distance covered between two successful compressions or rare fractions. That is for a case of a longitudinal wave. And I can explain this this way. If we have a longitudinal wave, we think that it has sections of compression alternating with rare fractions. So we can have a longitudinal wave. So we can have it this way. So this is what we are talking about. So when we are saying that it is the distance covered between two successful compressions. So if we have the distance from in between here, this is a compression. And in between here, this distance is what we are calling a wavelength or the distance between two successful rare fractions. So we have the distance in between this rare fraction here and the other rare fraction. So this distance is what we are calling a wavelength or simply the distance in one complete oscillation. And for this one, one complete oscillation will be as a result of this and the rear fraction, so the compression and the rear fraction, just like when we have a crest and a trough, that is a complete oscillation. So again, from here up to here, that's a complete oscillation, and that gives us one wavelength. So that is on the on wavelength, and we have been able now to define all the terms. We are going to use them in numerical calculations, very, very key. Again, in Form 3, in waves, you'll also be using these terms that we have just looked at. So we have looked at four terms. We have looked at amplitude, and we've seen it's the maximum displacement from the mean position, frequency, number of complete oscillations, or number of oscillations in one second, we have also looked at periodic time, time taken to complete one oscillation, and finally wavelength, and we have given it all these definitions. And we have seen that if you are told to explain what is wavelength, you can give one of them. Simply says the distance covered in one complete oscillation.